So we're back again. This is Todd with Inner West Distribution. We just set a new blade holder and blade up uh, for a cutting paint protection film. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put it in the plotter and do a few test cuts to make sure our depth is all dialed in. So here at the plotter, this plotter was previously set with a different blade in it um, that had dulled over time. So what you can actually see on our condition one for setting paint protection film, we've got our speed at 20 and our force at 23. Okay, with a brand new blade, it's gonna be much sharper. So when I actually take my blade holder, I'm gonna go ahead and insert it in the plotter, the cutting head, and I'm gonna go ahead, drop that in. I wanna make sure that blade holder sits all the way flush to the metal. This collar is gonna go over the top collar of the blade holder. So if I need to go ahead and jiggle it, make sure the blade holder is all the way down. This collar is going over the collar of the blade holder, and then I'm just gonna tighten that thumb tight okay now what we can do is actually adjust our force on the plotter so we're going to go into our condition mode as i said our force is currently at 23. the corresponding number to get to force is four so when i hit that you can see condition one is set at 23. i'm going to back that down quite a bit again i'd rather start on the safe side and not go too deep and cut through our liner to actually end up scoring our cut strip, okay? So I'm gonna bring that down. Let's actually go to, let's start at 13. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Menu, we're back to condition one ready. And our force is at 13. And I've already cut before and had this set up, so I'm just gonna hit copy to copy a little shape to do our test cut. Otherwise, you could select a small, say, door cup, or if you're doing window film, uh, wing window, something small and do a test cut. Okay, I'm gonna hit copy, enter. Okay, so right there, we just cut pretty much a little door cup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can pull this back, cleanly get the film off, and really what I'm looking for is if I pull the edge back, it did you know, come off nice and clean. I'm looking to see if there's any score mark on the liner. This one, I can't see an actual physical score mark. It's probably set fine, but when I do set up paint protection film, I like to see just a slight little score mark in the actual liner. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna up that force. And again, if I wasn't able to actually weed the material or pull the piece off, I would end up going up on my force, making another test cut until I get to that point. So if I wanna go ahead and have this set for just a little deeper, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the position of my film first. So I'm in a clean area, I'm gonna hit origin. And let's go back in and adjust the force. So we're gonna go back to our condition button. We're gonna go back to force, which is number four. It's at 13 currently. We're gonna take that up a notch. We're gonna to go to 14. We're gonna hit enter and menu. And then I'm gonna hit copy again. Okay, same thing. We're gonna just take a peek and test this little area. And now I can see a very faint, may not show up in the camera, but a very faint score mark in the liner. That's ideally where I'd like to have it. And from there, we can go ahead and start cutting our full patterns, whatever we need. Um, as the blade dulls, again, we're never gonna change the actual depth. All we're gonna do is adjust our force. So a month down the road, if I have difficulties weeding, I may take it up, I may have to take it from 14 up to 15 or 16 to add a little more force on that blade as it starts to dull. Okay, when you start getting up probably eight, eight adjustments higher than your original adjustment, it's probably time to start thinking about changing the blade.